Who is the most powerful character in gaming history? From killing gods with your son, to chainsawing your way through waves of infected enemies while showing off your slightly unrealistic biceps. Which of these savage, often brutal video game characters is the most powerful? Side note, these are characters created for video games and not movies. For example, Goku. Powerful, yes. Appears in games, yes. But made for TV. So you're out, little man. Bye bye. I'm not crying! Let's get into it. First up, Master Chief, the Halo franchise. Spartan 117 has proved time and time again he is more than capable of defying the odds of death, whilst gliding through massive amounts of enemies with ease. His strength, weaponry, and agility put him higher than most. He also looks mighty fine while he's doing it. Oh, yes, Daddy! We're going to put him in A for absolute menace. Up next, Marcus Phoenix. The Gears of War series. Marcus has chained, stomped and headshot his way through countless locusts during his time in the Gears of War series. Even in recent times as an older, distinguished gentleman, he's still as badass as ever. Time to introduce the new cog to the old cog. Let's not forget the sheer size of some of the creatures he's taken down, but as my girlfriend always says, size isn't everything. I still have PTSD from this mission. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! He's powerful, but powerful for a human man with no abilities. Therefore, unfortunately, he has to go see for now. Kratos, God of War. He's mowed his way through a plethora of mighty enemies, many of which haven't phased him one bit. A bit like me at a buffet. In recent times, he's travelled with a young boy on his adventures. Cool when he does it, but when I do it, it seems like a huge issue. Go figure. Without a doubt, one of the most powerful protagonists in gaming, and that's why he's going S. Rico Rodriguez, the Just Cause franchise. You might be thinking, He's just a mere man. What's he doing on here? You're wrong, and there's nothing wrong with mere men. Let me tell you. Rico Rodriguez takes out full bases, cities, and whole militaries on his own, all whilst being a solid 10 out of 10. Oh, and in recent years, he can fly. They fly now! That's why he belongs in B. The big burly bloke. <laughs> Commander Shepard. The Mass Effect trilogy. Commander Shepard is an Alliance Marine and the first human to join the Spectres in the Mass Effect universe. He's also the first human in gaming to have an option to shag whatever this thing is. Oh, my eyes! Only joking, Garrus. We love you. Along with his brawn and biotic abilities, he's able to slash, shock, and shoot his way through the galaxy. It's a tricky one, but I think he's got to go on the same sort of level as a Master Chief. So that's why I'm going to put him A. John Marston, Red Dead Redemption. He's made the list based on his kill count and the amount of bullets he's engulfed before falling to the floor. So before you shout at me, let's have a watch of this. I promise you I had every intention of counting it. But as you'll see, you can't count it. No matter how slow you play it, no matter how many times you play it, you just can't count it. Now that is impressive, John. But let's be honest, you aren't in the same league. I respect you as a man, but you've got to go down, down, down to D. For Dutch. Starkiller. The Force Unleashed 1 and 2. Let me start by saying this. These games are f***ing brilliant. Starkiller is so strong, he's leaping around crushing TIE Fighters like the toothpicks. If you need further proof that Starkiller belongs here, let's go down memory lane and watch him take down a Star Destroyer with his bare hands. <laughs> That's why, my friends, he belongs at the top. S for Star Killer. Dante, the Devil May Cry franchise. Dante's a demon hunter who slashes his way through a demon invaded earth. Plenty of powerful enemies fall at the hands of him, that's for sure. But is he as powerful as these two? I'm gonna have to say no. He's just missed S and he's gone to A. But an A plus, okay? He's just not as powerful as them. I'm sorry. Sue me. It's a controversial one next. It's Kirby. The Kirby games. I know what you're saying. How can something this cute be associated with power? 
It's simple. Much like me at an all-you-can-eat hot dog stand, he has the ability to inhale. So the question is, if he starts scanning up our S list, would he be above them? The further question is, which tier does that make him? Is it cheating? Bloody sod it. Life lesson here, kids. Rules were meant to be bent, like me dad. Kirby's S. Fight me in the comments about it and give me your best shot. Well, that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have. Please put a comment in what you'd like to see next. Uh, and if you can't be asked, well, then I can't be asked with you. So, f*** off. <laughs> Bit strong.